All right, it is time to take the mask off. And it is time to cook with all we got going on in the world. That's why I always tell you guys that quick advice, cooking is all about therapy. Come home after work, just get your cook on, and we're gonna get into some red salmon, sake, salmon, salmon, salmon today. And I got something great for you guys. As most of you have seen, um, I did kind of a, a teaser vlog where we had uh, uh, Love Your Natural on, and, and you know, AKA Bella Bars and my Missy from uh, Pretty Pack, and it was awesome, and the whole family. Um, and Ashley Epic was there, so we had a great time out in barbecue. But I skipped the portion where I actually made the red salmon, fresh salmon coquettes. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys in on that right now. As you can remember, if you saw that video, these were the major players on deck, and we are gonna get into it. Now, guys, what I did was, we can get this is two pieces of fish, but I actually, on this one, what I did, I decided to let the fish uh, kind of like saute and um, sit in the seasonings overnight. So this is what it's looking like here. So we can slide that off of the um, aluminum foil. This is just an extra piece of fish. Don't want to be greedy. I'll save that for tomorrow. So, um, you saw me cut the other piece of fish off, but this is what we're going to do um, with this one. It does have the bones like last time, uh, so we're going to, I already debone this one quite a bit before I season it. So this has been sitting in the refrigerator, like I said, all night long, and um, you know, we're going to debone this. Starting with, remember the skin. So I can smell the fresh rosemary and all the other seasonings on it. So I am gonna kind of like do my own filet here. And uh, you know, all of it's like when I come home from work and um, Looking at the news, it's like, what more, you know, after praying do you want than some good old quince advice croquettes? So I can, you can see the bones are out. I took out most of the bones before I seasoned it. So don't be afraid. I got a lot of comments saying that uh, you were going to be, you were afraid that my fingers we're gonna get cut. So some of that skin is still on there. So let's chop this here. So let's set this to the side. I'm just gonna make a few. Let's set this to the side. Um, but it's just crazy out in the world, you know? It is really crazy. So let's set this to the side there. And I'm going to make a few salmon croquettes. I don't know how much we can get out of it, but the taste of the red, fresh red salmon was such a hit. Um, you could taste the difference and um, everybody was blown away. I tasted a few. I liked it quite a lot. So I made an adjustment. I'm going to make an adjustment with this one. Um, I'm actually going to steam this a little bit. Um, I want to steam it just a tad bit. So I'm going to turn my oven on low, no oil, but I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. And I'm going to steam this baby. Why? Because when you use it, when you're making salmon out of a can, right, you are, um, some bone. Oh, I got most of the bones out of it. So when you're making salmon out of the can, that salmon 
as we know, is uh, is kind of cooked and ready to eat. It's kind of steamed. So I said, wait a minute, let me make an adjustment here. And if there are any bones left, they are not, they are not uh, hard enough to choke on like you would find in a, like a porgy fish or anything like that. So it's not a, it's not a real major, but some people are just freaked out by the thought of bones in, in their fish, you know. I had a guy tell me that uh, he swallowed a bone eating fish one time and he uh, felt like he was choking and the bone got caught in his throat and stuck right through his, uh, his the skin in his, in his throat. And that was kind of traumatizing. Nice story to give you guys while I'm cutting up this uh, these uh, this salmon, but that's what happened. Also, a lot of people have been saying in the comments, "Oh, you talk too much." But you know what? If we're gonna, I don't, we don't want to fry it. We don't want to fry it. But you know what? If we're going to have some therapy and cook and enjoy our food and talk about our day and get over the stresses in the world. You guys know what's going on in the world. All right. So what we'll do with this as it's steaming is on low, right? Add a tad bit more of this, no oil. That comes later. So we're gonna let this steam just a little bit, put that over here like that. Let that steam and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna dice up our onion. Just a little bit of onion here, put that back. And um, you know, but yeah, I, 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 I told you, you know, this, this is therapy, this is therapeutic. Not a professional chef. I'm a dude that loves to cook and that found cooking to be something that is therapeutic to me. And I also always try to cook, you know, with a healthy edge to it. And um, I have my wine after I finish cooking. I'm good. So we dice it up. Also, I want to thank all of you uh, master chefs. I had a guy that told me his whole chef background, like, uh, you know, he's like a master chef. You know, he was telling me that uh, my cutting style, and, you know, he told me he wanted to show me how to cut, and I was like, geez. Thank you, man. I'm honored that somebody of that status that professional status even watch my video. I'm honored by that, you know, so don't, don't think for one minute that I don't appreciate, you know, you viewing. I, I, I really, I was like, wow. It took me a minute. I was, I was scared to even reply. To, <laughs> but, um, thank you all for your, your viewing, your, your, <laughs> constructive and some amazingly uh, destructive comments. Uh, I'm just going to start sticking, uh, sticking Pat on you guys. I'm going to ask Pat to be one of my moderators on this channel with the cooking, as far as the cooking goes. And uh, that'll be that. Once you guys get a whiff of Pat, it's a wrap. So, we're just having fun, everybody. Like I said, but, but what we got going on out of, in the world, we need, we need a lot of love. And um, we need to be resilient. That's what resilience is all about. Some of you may know. 
I do inspirational messages on resilience and very much um, involved. Uh, so my tears are not just for uh, the onions. Some of the tears are because I am so overwhelmed by you guys comments and some of your you know I'm just blown away so I do this I'm just doing this out of first love for cooking and, and now you know I've, I've grown to love some of you know your supporters you know I get I get really into what you guys are saying so if I don't if I don't comment right away just understand that, you know, schedules and so on. And um, gets, it gets a little crowded. But we're here. Despite what's going on in the world, we are here. And we are dicing some red pepper. It's basically, this is basically the same uh, type of uh, method that we use with my mom's original southern salmon coquettes same thing going on there so if you watch the first salmon coquette video that has um went a little viral you'll you'll get it so that's why i'm not going into too much detail but very excited to show you guys uh the red salmon, so the red salmon method here. So we are steaming our red salmon, folks. Just want to give you a guys a peek. We're steaming them, and we are chopping it up. Now, let's bring it over to the the sink because we don't want it to get too watery. So we want to drain it a little bit. some of that water out. Because we we are going to be deep frying it. We know what happens. So we we'll keep this nice and chopped up. Nicely seasoned. It has oregano. A little, I think I put a dash of oregano in it. But uh, rosemary. Remember, some of you got it. I was talking with one of the uh, one of my viewers, and I think she got it. Where I said I put rosemary in the salmon. So I do put rosemary in my salmon and a couple of other. So that looks nicely chopped up. So now it is steamed. The smell, I wish you guys could smell it, but you will smell it when you try this. You guys are gonna smell this when you try it. So now I got this on super low. You know what, we'll shut this off because we don't want to overcook it. So it's off, but of course it's still steaming. Last thing we're gonna dice up is our garlic um, and um, I think we're going to be ready to go we're going to mix this up and um, so you know you guys try this and it is it is going to be a hit I mean if you can if you can make Bella bars and love your natural a, uh, a dish and make her dance and you're good you're good to go shout out to her shout out to miss ashley epic her mom was there i was nervous but her mom was there made her smile you know as always a pleasure and uh, a couple of other guests there 
So we're gonna chop up this garlic and we are ready to go. Y'all excited? This is the first time that, uh, you, and you know what? I want you guys to do some research. I haven't had the, the, the time, the opportunity, but if, if you're seeing anyone else do fresh salmon, let me know. You know, I'll, I'll get a little godly jealous, but let me know if anyone else has um, gone this route. Another piece of a movie. I guess y'all see how much I like movies. What is the movie where the young lady was chopping up, I think, the garlic or the onions so hard that a certain gentleman who she was dating was afraid and he kind of like backed out of the room. She was mad that morning when she got up. I think she was cooking for. Uh, Thanksgiving, so she was chopping it up like this, and then homeboy just backed out of that, no, he didn't back out, he came in, but he was scared because she was chopping it up. And then she slammed the knife down, and then she just gave him the business. Later on, I'll give you a hint, Kevin Hart, or somebody, no, not Kevin Hart, somebody else, somebody threw the turkey out the window at the Thanksgiving. Part. So here we go. We have the steamed salmon. Let's throw our steam get the bone out of here. We have the steamed salmon. We are going to put our steamed salmon in there. Oh, that's like so much the bomb. So much the bomb. Alright. So the steamed salmon is there. And we are ready to throw in the rest of the ingredients, which is so we're gonna put that in there. Chop onion, chop garlic, diced garlic, and Remember, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see how oh, that looks go so good, so rich. I'm gonna see how now it's already seasoned. The fish was already seasoned, but now it's been chopped up a little bit and slightly steamed. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now you guys go as you as you feel. So I'm gonna start off with one egg and I'm gonna check the texture. As I recommend, as you saw in the video, you wanna use hen eggs, cage-free eggs. Let's throw a little bit of oregano in there. Cage-free, I'm gonna throw a little bit of onion. Powder in there, just a little bit more. I like it spicy. Um, let me see, I'm gonna throw a little adobo in here, a little bit more adobo. Just want to make sure it's it's you know the seasonings are deeply embedded in there, and let's just try some smokehouse. This was this was something interesting. That's a smokehouse maple, and I'm thinking it it adds a little sweet touch to it. A little sweet touch, a little smoked sweet touch. So as we're looking at it, the egg. That one egg. So I think we can do two eggs. In the original recipe with mama, we, we did two eggs per can. And I think this is a little bit over a can, but we'll do, see what two looks like. Two looks like about it. That looks like about it. Two eggs, yeah, I think this is it. This looks good. Let's 
So, right. So let's start our. I'm gonna put my stove on medium. Let's push that back a bit before I throw the. Uh, before I put my. Oil in the pan. Well, I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm gonna put. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Uh, half. Let me see. What is it? Half a cup. Let me see. Hmm. Let's see what half a cup feels like, or maybe three fourths. I had in mind three fourths. Uh, it's almost three fourths. That's about a half. Let's see what the half looks like, because you can always tell by the texture if it's too much or too little. You don't want it looking white, because it'll be too... This is all about the timing now. Almost done. And we are going to fill... Now, I can't tell you exactly how much oil to use, because it all depends on the size of your pan. What I can say is... You use enough to that you make sure you don't put too much oil, but make sure you put enough to where the croquette is like definitely not covered. But it's another thing you got to kind of get the feel of. See, I got I got mama's touch on it, so it's definitely not half a pan, All right? And we're going to try this half a cup. Uh, remember, we're using unbleached flour. And before we go with the full half cup, I'm going to go with half of a half first. Let me see. Yeah, like maybe one fourth. One fourth looks okay with this one. So now it's a little tricky, guys, because you got to you gotta get the feel of it. Now, this is for advanced Quince Advice Salmon Croquette Fryers because... There's no fish, you know, like you, you got to go by what size your fish is. The larger your size of fish, now this looks perfect. The larger your size fish, the, of course, the more ingredients, period, you're going to need. That was quite a bit size of fish. I'm feeling my pot is on medium. I'm just gonna add another little dash of salt in here. Just a dash. Just a dash. Alright. Gotta be well seasoned. It's like you gotta feel it. You really gotta feel it. I, I can't I can't explain. It. gotta feel it like you know like on the movie white man can't jump remember when uh what's his name wesley snipes was saying you can't feel jimmy he was telling woody harrelson you, you ain't feel jimmy yet you gotta feel jimmy with this you gotta feel you gotta feel clean. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. So, just making sure it's chopped up, and we are going to put our first in there because you can you can see. So here we go. Let's put it on the edge, and we'll get a feel of. Let's turn it up just make sure. Okay. So we want that. So that was in there. A little bit. Looks good. Um, I'm still, I'm still feeling my way. 
So let's go. Let's go with a little bit more spicy buffalo. So you, it's like, this is a very interesting one, Laurie spicy buffalo. So this is just how I'm feeling. I want to add this in. Now, once your pot starts going, so let's just say we added half a teaspoon of spicy buffalo. You got to go by taste. And then you don't want to overpower your red salmon. You don't want to spend $20 on a nice piece of red salmon and then overpower your salmon with uh, too much seasoning. Okay. So let's see how many croquettes we're gonna get out of here. I like my like oval shape. I don't know if you remember in the first video they were like kind of oval shaped. Um, one lady in my life, she likes it. She likes how it's flat like a patty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna get seven croquettes out of this, which is not bad. If you're greedy like me, this is uh one meal, and we could, you know, we could mix this. We could have rice. With it, you can have uh, you know me, I like a little pasta with it, and so on and so on. I also love to clean up while I'm cooking, that's just me. It's also therapeutic. Any one of y'all know Wilma, my mom, I got that from her. You do not. We do not uh, cook without cleaning while we're cooking. Because after you cook, you just want to sit down and eat. And no, I will not be quiet while I'm cooking because that's what I do. It's therapeutic. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, we got. Um, I'm excited, so I'm going to turn up a little bit. Now, be careful. I, we might get away with it. But this might be a little bit too much oil. So, Quince's advice is that you don't use this much oil. It shouldn't be... Well, it's, this, is, this is all right. This is all right. This is all right. They're floating. Now... A couple of you asked me when it's too much. I'll I'll tell you it's too much when the your oil looks sudsy. Like it looks like they're taking a bubble bath. That's when you know you went overboard. And what I recommend you do, I, it happened to me a long time ago when I was a novice salmon croquette cooker. It happened to me, and I called my mom, and mom, what should I do? I was in, living in a basement apartment, and my mom was like, baby, you got to try to drain some of it out. So I drained some of it out while it was frying, kind of killed it over the sink, and I got some of the oil out, and I was able to salvage a decent dish of um, salmon croquettes. So we are looking good, looking very good right now. Once again, check out the vlog. We had a ball. Um, it was a blast. Like I said, I was honored by the guests. I didn't know they were going to be there. That was a surprise to me. 
Um, I think this weekend, I may be making some for um, the Ezra Bear Wine, some guests at one of her gatherings. we making some Ezra Bear Wine. I'm um, happy about that. And hey, listen, as far as what we got going on in the world, we just have to pray. We have to pray and know that God is in control. You know, He's the source of my, uh, my peace. And this is just a resource. You know, cooking is just something that I do as a resource. Resilience. So they're looking pretty good. Right? They are looking awesome. And, um, you know what? I'm gonna put these on a, a bed of, uh, I'm just gonna dress it up a little bit. Like I said, it's, it's, listen, this is therapy. Yeah. Gotta have some fun. This is romaine lettuce. Classic, good for you greens. Of course, we have used some, some, uh, we have used some ingredients that are not 100% good for us, but we are having some fun right now. We are having some fun. So that's the bed. And you know, you see that golden brown, and um, they look, they look, they look great. Now, even though they were steamed, we have to keep in mind that they are, this is fresh fish, and when we have the pink salmon in the can, pink salmon that we have in the can is, uh, is different. So fresh fish, we have to fry it a little bit longer than the pink salmon. Right? Frying it a little bit longer. So my estimate of frying these, I'm cleaning up while I'm cooking, of course. My estimate for frying these, from just getting the feel, I would say 15 minutes, but once again, that all depends. That depends on how high your stove is and so on and so on. I'm having a bowl. How about you? So. Don't they look good? Okay. I think these are a success. That's the patty for the misses. Guys, join me for on Facebook for the cook cook challenge. I'm looking to see some dishes. Facebook. Cooking with Quint's Advice. Facebook. Join me, guys. We're trying to turn things around in the kitchen. We're trying to take over. You know what I mean? We're trying to take over and change the regular narrative that's in place whereas women rule the kitchen. So we're going to take over, bring the sexy back into the kitchen. There are the sour coquettes. Um, soon I will be on Instagram. So, um, I'll be glad to be on there with some of you guys, and um, I'm ready to dig into this with some B-Love sauce here. Um, they look awesome. Oh, I'm just going to do it a little bit. You know, this is a little basic. Yeah, see that? Just keep it crispy. Yeah. Now, what you can do, instead of that too, I would recommend, this is what I really recommend, I'll just mess around with that. But I would recommend you use some, some coconut oil. You could, you, you could use some coconut oil and kind of sprinkle it in there. Heat it up and, and use some coconut oil, organic coconut oil. And you could like, you know, spread it on there. Get you some sauce and you're good to go. 
Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, look at my other video. The, the look at look at the shrimpy the shrimp croquettes video also. Check that one out. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments. God bless you. Peace out. Quince advice.